So today we've come to the Mother Shipton Inn. I'm with Tell me. the owner of the pub. Um, he's just going to give you a brief history of the pub, um, some of his hauntings and stories that he's had here. What what roughly does it date back to, Tony? Uh, 16th century. Mm -hmm. It was an old coaching inn. Yeah. Uh, and the area we sat in at this moment in time used to be an old kitchen, hence the uh, the original meat hooks in the ceiling stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, over the years, uh, it's changed with a little bit of an extension on one side of the pub. Uh, so, it used to, obviously, back in the days, we used to be called the dropping one of the pub. Uh, and it's pictured on the wall over there with people in Victorian dress. Uh, so it's steeped in history. Uh, it's, it's the old place. Obviously, it's, it's next to the Mother Shipton's cave. Yep. Any connection to the cave in any way? No, uh, it's totally a separate entity, is, <laughs> is the cave to the pub. Uh, like I say, it used to be formerly called the Dropping Well to the pub, but the name was changed a few years ago to Mother Shipton's Inn. Uh, but uh, the, the cave is actually separate, it's a separate business to, to the pub. Mm -hmm. And what kind of things have you had happen here? What kind of ghostly stories? It, initially, when we moved in, approximately three years ago, uh, the pub was in a bit of a state, to be fair. And uh, initially, it was a fortnight of uh, deep cleaning. And family members who were helping uh, had experienced things, uh, like Samantha's mother, uh, coins and objects used to fall on her while she's you know, in different parts of the pub. Uh, we've had plates fall off the wall, glasses moving, uh, some of our locals have got stories of things they've seen. Uh, there was an article in the evening press where there's a hand uh, going up the fireplace. I've uh, seen that, yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we also had three guys who used to practice in the old, what we call now the barn room, mm -hmm. and they used to put a curtain over the front of the door. And one evening there was practicing, and uh, there was two people in Victorian dress watching them. Yeah. Uh, we've had incidences where our locals have been sat at tables, and the glasses have just slid off. Uh, we have uh, we have two dogs, and uh, obviously they say dogs uh, feel sense sense, yeah. sense that sort of thing. Uh, we had an incident upstairs where again Samantha's mother saw somebody come out of an old cupboard into our living quarters and one of our dogs uh, wouldn't go into the room and he just barking and going mad mm -hmm. uh, and when we went in there was nobody there. I myself, uh, always been a sceptic if I'm honest, mm -hmm. uh, was serving a couple of chaps at the bar one day and I saw two people going upstairs. I cut off serving these two chaps and just said, excuse me a minute guys, I think there's somebody looking for the loot. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I went, went upstairs, there was no one there. There's been incidents on an evening, on a night time, middle of the night, we can hear doors banging. Initially, we used to think somebody was in the pub, mm -hmm. but those noises now we've got used to, and uh, we recognise the noises, uh, like the bathroom doors opening and closing. So we just, get, you know, we just take all that now. Take it's it as normal. Yeah, just as it, as it comes. Yeah. Uh, we've had a medium round, uh, which explain that obviously there's, uh, there's a lot of things happening, activity within within the pub itself. Yeah. Uh, and under the understanding she asked, when she first came in, she asked you to remove something from the yes, back? Yes, uh, the, the old barn room again, uh, there was one piece of furniture. Mm -hmm. uh, it was an old coat stand with a mirror on, uh, yeah. like an oval mirror yeah. and a drawer. Uh, and she insisted that that piece of furniture uh, left the pub. Uh, so 18 months ago we had a cosmetic refurbishment uh, mm -hmm. and obviously that piece of furniture did go. Uh, Any idea where it went? Uh, I haven't a clue to be fair. Mm -hmm. uh, the guys who, who did all the internal work, you know, took all the furniture away mm -hmm. and then obviously brought it back uh, with new furniture of course. Yeah. But the thing we wanted to keep was the character of the pub mm -hmm. and uh, obviously you know, not change, just warm it through, which I think they did a great job. In regards to the table, um, where did you get that piece from? We actually inherited the table. 
uh, to be honest. It's part of our fixtures and fittings, and, and we're so lucky we did. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's a very old table uh, dating yeah. back. Uh, actually got it from Scott and Hall, it originally came from. Yeah. Uh, and the table's been with the pub ever since. Yeah. And uh, we do serve on it and people sit on it. It's a lovely old table. Mm. Uh, so yeah, it's basically, we, uh, we inherited it when we took over the pub. And you've had, is it glasses come off there at times? We've, yeah, we've, it's not just that table. Uh, we've, we've had family members and locals who sit at and dine at that table. And uh, they've told us, you know, how glasses have been moving on on the table, moving about, some falling off the table. Uh, and we've also had a couple of tables just in front of the fire as well, the little round tables. Yeah. Uh, it's actually happened to me as that. Mm -hmm. uh, I was sat there one night, just relaxing, having a drink with one or two of the locals. Yeah. And my beer just fell off. Cool. <laughs> and like, wow, you know. Mm. Uh, so yeah. And also there was an incident behind the bar, uh, Samantha, my partner, she was down here on her own one morning and she come running upstairs panicking and, and say, tell me all the glasses are moving on the shelves. Yeah. And she wouldn't come back down. So obviously when I came down, uh, it, it all sort of calmed down. Mm -hmm. So there's incidences like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look there. Just sat at the bar mm -hmm. uh, and they looked across and they said they saw two people sat there on that pew. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously, when when they looked again, they disappeared. Mm -hmm. And the area where the medium said there was just a heave of activity, people in and out, because that through there, there's the back door, uh, during the summer months we opened that, so people can come in that way as well. Yeah. Uh, so there used to be an old well, and it used to be called a dropping well. Mm -hmm. And people used to apparently just keep coming through, through this area all the time. Uh, she was stood here and she was like, she was like this, people saying, you know, people trying to get past me uh, and things like that, you know, so, but this is the old barn and, uh, again, it was unusable. So the guys, the guys used to practice up there, this is obviously all the, the furniture and that's new since we had the refurbishments. Mm -hmm. uh, and these, the people appeared at the door, just in front of the door while they were just practicing up there. Uh, they, they assured me they wasn't drunk or anything. <laughs> so, so this is the old barn, and behind that that wall there, there's still the old concrete steps yeah. uh, outside where the ladies used to mount the horses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so again, probably my favourite room is this. It is stunning. It's lovely. It's yeah. Stunning. So it smells like that. Once we get the heating on, that goes. Yeah. But you always get that foisty smell with it. There is, yeah. compared to the rest of the building. There, there um, definitely that piece is. of furniture used to be here, what I was talking about earlier, the coat stand. That's where I got the, the tap, here. Yeah. yeah, here, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. where I got the tap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's where that, that's used, that piece of furniture used to be. Uh, but the, the old wall used to come down to the bottom, and all that panel and everything's new when we had the refurbishment. Yeah. Uh, so it used to all just be brickwork down to the bottom. <laughs> Uh, if you see the, the circular bit of the patio there, yeah. that's where the old well used to be, apparently. Yeah. Uh, so, obviously people used to come in round the pub and for whatever reason, I think it was like a wishing well. Yeah. Uh, but obviously it's all been filled in over the years. Mm. Uh, but this this part here in this moment in time, this isn't a the original part of the building. This has been an extension over the years. Yeah. Uh, so I think you can kind of feel that when you when you walk through that it's yeah. a newer part. It's kind yeah. Of you, yeah, you can. Yeah. It's, it's different. It, yeah, you get that different feel, don't you? You do, yeah. yeah I felt that. Uh, Definitely. So, yeah. There's an old letter there. Dated 2nd July 1510. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the old fire where the hand was seen. 
Is that one? That That's one? the one, yeah. <laughs> uh, the old clock there still works. <coughs> um, I think how old's the clock, Sam? Um, it's older than the guy folks and it was dated back to uh, 1305. Yeah. 1305, wow. wasn't it? Yeah. It's, it's really old. <laughs> On the walls. Hmm. Um, it says to the top there, Royal Visitors to the Dropping Well, which the pub used to be formerly called. Yeah. And, you know, it, over the years, uh, Princess Victoria on July the 25th, 1910, and going to 1911, uh, Prince Christopher of Greece. So there's, there's quite a, one or two, you know, names on there. Mm -hmm. uh, so, do you think? Oh, no. That's what we found inside them. Yeah. And what would they have been used for then? Well, we, we think it was... Because <laughs> they're very big, aren't they? Yeah. People have said that they're probably advertising. Uh, used to maybe be a, a draper's scissors, or it was like, you know, showing a draper's shop. Yeah. You know the big scissors? Oh, yes. Yeah, inside. Where's the They're huge. Oh, it's So I'm basically in the barn area of the pub um, and I'm going to do a short spirit box session to see what we get, um, just to see if we can get any names, see if we can get any intelligence come through while we're here. Obviously it seems quite an active place, obviously Sam told me they live here, you know, they they report it on, on a daily basis that activities happening um, it definitely does seem steeped in history and with the amount of items in here you know potentially is that bringing in energies from all over added on top of what may be here with the location itself who knows I'm Charlene in the tree Yeah. It should be. Can you tell me why you haunt this location? And click. Do you set things off here? A lot of guns. Eat. As we see, mind of the mind of unlike. People do come to heat and drink here now. Subject. Have you affected them, people? Have you, sh have, you have you shown yourself to them? At home. But if and across. There's supposed to be a black mass that shows itself here. They were not for as. Can you tell? Can you tell me who that is? Doctor. Doctor. Is there something connected to the table?
Barn. We're in the barn. <coughs> we are in the barn area. Not only that. Three. Can you give me your names? Army. I'm sure that said all names.